this continuity. So think about how you move, because the movement in and out of the asana is yoga. Okay, it's not like we just wait for yoga to happen in the, at the peak of the holding of the furthest point in the pose. So move with yoga, move with awareness, okay? So let's try again. Take the left arm up. So already established in yoga. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now let's chant om, this may help. Reach up, exhale, chant om on the way down. Oh, much better, so much, 100% better. Three, uh, two more times, please. Flat back, come up. Oh, contract the navel, back of your neck long, chin comes in. Inhale, flat back. Om. Now stay, and while you stay, mentally chant Om on the exhalations. Allow the left side of the back, the left kidney, to drop deeper into the torso. If you're incre your flexibility is increasing, walk your hand a little further forward, lengthen the back of the neck. Your chin slightly draws in, the chest dropping toward the knee. Excellent. Inhale, flat back, come all the way up. And adjust, lower both arms, step your back foot forward. Please adjust there for a second. Immediately go back to the heart and remember that pulsation, that initial spark that longs for fulfillment. Okay, let's step the opposite leg back. So your right foot goes back. Now the right arm will go into the air. Left hand is on the sacrum, palm faces back. Inhale deeply and we'll start right from the beginning, chanting on the way down. Oh, push into the elbow and the slower you move, the deeper its effect. Right? Flat back, chest expands. And raise the arm up first, good. Exhaling. Oh, keep pushing into your right elbow, hitting your right femur thigh bone back toward the hamstring. Om. Contracting the navel. Feel the vibration of the sound moving up your spine. Om. Good. Last one. Stay again, five breaths. Lengthen the back of the neck. Slight Jalandhara Bandha, so your, the back of your neck is long. Your thoracic spine lengthening. Can you reach out a little further with the hand and drop the chest a little more? Lengthen out of the waist. Excellent. Okay, fill the right arm, lift the chest, come up with a flat back again. Then turn your feet parallel and lower your arms. Now you may want to just stagger here so you're not directly behind someone. Yeah, that may take a while. All right, so you find your spot there. So. Bend the right knee a little bit. We're going into a twist. Bring your arms level to the floor. Inhale deeply. A slight bend in your right knee. Left knee straight. Exhale and, well, let's just take an extra breath. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale. And as you exhale, twist. Your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Roll open as much as you can. Remember your right knee is bent. Roll open, roll open. And then inhale, spiral up. And let's repeat it. Exhale, twist. Okay, keep going three more times. Each time look for a little more range of movement. And uh, think about moving your left chest toward the doors 
or that wall that you came through to come in the room. Good, last one to that same side, your furthest point. Your shoulders stack over the hand, you roll open dynamically, big spread through your collarbones, and then inhale all the way back up. Just pause in the center for a second. Now we'll bend the left knee, and we'll keep the right leg straight, five times to the other side. Inhale, exhale, remember yoga is the movement as much as it is the pose. But feet are parallel. Twisting the navel open. More and more it rotates toward the ceiling. Nice. That five, right? Okay, we're going back to side one. Inhale deeply. Bend the right knee slightly to move into it. Exhale, twist. Plant the left hand. Note where your hand is and move your shoulders over it. If you're more flexible, you can begin to straighten the right knee. And maybe I would turn the fingers the opposite way as the toes are pointed. And if you can get the hand on the floor, that's fine. And if not, that's okay. You can keep your right knee slightly bent. If you're not as flexible, if you are more flexible, straighten the knee. And now from here, we're going to move our right arm to move deeper into the posture. Inhale, stretch your right arm toward the back wall of the room. The arm reaches back wall, level to the floor. Now exhale, turn open, bring the arm vertical and turn your navel more to the ceiling. Good. And now the action, yes, we're moving arm, but the action comes from the navel. So now let's do that. Inhale, stretch the arm. And then exhale, bring it vertical. And if you can, hold your breath out for a second and twist open more. And repeat that. Inhale, the arm goes. So you're lengthening your spine on inhale. Exhale, twist the spine. And pause out and twist a little bit more. Two more of those. So you're pausing after exhale, emptying the belly, and rolling open as much as you can with the diaphragm lifted. Last one. Nice. Release and inhale and come up. And just adjust in the center there for a second. Notice how you're feeling. Now, go inside. Eyes open, eyes closed. Not really, doesn't really matter. But some of you might even still feel some pulsation or some spinning going on. You feel something going on. It's like you are, part of you still turning. So we're activating. We're activating that pranic field that is the basis of spanda. Okay, so now side two, please. Bend the left knee. And if your feet are real wide, it probably is a disservice. So the feet shouldn't be much wider than three and a half. It's a kind of different, uh, really a different base. Okay, so when you're ready, left knee bends, and then let's go into the pose. And put your hand down on the floor as far to the heel side of the foot as you can, ideally on the little toe side. And now when you're ready, start to sweep with the left arm. goes level. On exhale, it comes vertical. If you're comfortable doing it, you're pausing after exhale. At the top of exhale, pause. Roll open even more with the diaphragm elevated. If you start holding your breath out longer, some of you will actually feel pulsation during the pause. Energy is beginning to fill that space, and that movement happens through the spanda. Spanda, the throb, the pulse, the movement. From emptiness to life. From darkness to light. Good, and after four or five of those, we'll release... Come back up to center and pause for a few seconds. Okay, if you want to go in again, just pause and check it out. Some of you will still feel like there's still some spinning going on. Okay, let's fold forward. Put the hands on the floor. Depending on your flexibility, if you're not as flexible, have the hands out there in front under your shoulders with your spine stretched out. And if you are more flexible, hands between the feet, fingers in line with the uh, toes. 
Inhale, lift up, chest lifts high. And then exhale deep into the pose, contracting the navel as you go into it. Let's do that again, and then we're going to vary the breath with it. Okay, now stay in the posture, and I'll, let me explain what we're about to do. We're going to move in and out, but we're going to move on the hold after exhale. And I know I'm, I'm throwing a lot of kind of breath work and even now introducing bandhas, so if you're new to it, just do the best you can. Please don't force anything. So here's what we're going to do. Stay in the deep.